doing anything innovative is a challenge to all humans. That's why innovators are rare individuals. And Dr. Emil Freireich is one of those rare individuals. It was his work developing combination chemotherapy in the mid-20th century that led to the first effective treatment of childhood leukemia. But Freireich's groundbreaking work, which involved giving children four drugs at once, was met with plenty of skepticism and even horror. So we went to the cooperative group and we said we want to do that, and they said that's ridiculous, it's way too dangerous. But the study took and combination chemotherapy has become commonplace as a result. And it's that element of risk versus reward in cancer treatment that serves as a major focal point of Ken Burns Presents Cancer, the Emperor of All Maladies, which airs tomorrow through Wednesday at 8 p.m. here on TV8, includes interviews with Freireich and other doctors at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. Cancer has its own set of problems when it comes to treatment because the, the likelihood or the risk of injuring healthy cells as you're trying to kill the cancer cell. But the doctors we spoke with emphasize the importance of accepting those risks if it means finding an effective treatment. Take Freireich's work, for example. We had to convince the parents that it was worth doing it if it could work. And the risks he took paid off and have helped pave the way for leukemia treatment as we know it. Now we cure about half of the acute leukemia. In the chronic leukemia, most of the patients live their functional life with targeted therapies. So my projection is that in leukemias, hopefully we will be able to cure most, if not all, leukemias within the next one to two decades. For Houston Public Media News, I'm Michael Haggerty.